Let's take the initial fees first. 25 years ago, there were no costs to starting the knowledge, none. You just applied, you were accepted, and you began. The costs were covered by the driver's license fees. And there could be upwards of 6,000 people studying the knowledge. And with this abundance of candidates, the standard of knowledge students could continuously become higher and harder. Now, to apply, you are going to need around £700 before you make it onto the testing stage of the knowledge. I'll put the breakdown from the TFL's website on the screen now. Which, when you think about it, it's a lot of money for someone currently out of work and looking to move forward in some way and take the risk to even begin to try to become a London cabbie. The cost of running TFL's knowledge department is in the region of a million pounds per annum. Three million pounds over three years without inflation. This would put an extra cost of £150 onto the licence fee of every current taxi driver, which is an extra £50 per year. That's how much it would cost each taxi driver to subsidise the knowledge once again and keep it alive. We need to return to this system if we are to keep the knowledge of London alive. This one change alone would allow people to study with less stress and more freely at their own pace. This will keep the examiners in their jobs, which at their current rate of decline, we can presume they do not have a very long future left.